Hey family, hope you guys didn't miss me too much. Well, I'm back and let's go ahead and do the first thing we need to do. Like, share, and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the shrimp and grits. All right, I'm gonna make this as simple as I possibly can. Let's go ahead and look at the ingredients that we're gonna use today, which is our green bell pepper, red bell pepper, Go ahead and cut up a little bacon if you would like. I added country sausage. You can use andouille sausage if you would like. I have a little green onion cut up. And of course, what shrimp and grits without your shrimp. So that's everything that I'm gonna use for the meat hearty portion of my grits. Make sure you don't use that instant stuff. Get you some old fashioned grits. Let's move over to the stove now and get that bacon going. All right, got that bacon going. Just before I put the bacon in, I actually put about three pats of butter. And if you don't know what a patty is, just take you a knife and cut your butter three times. As little or, or as much as you would like. Once again, as I always say, I'm cooking beyond measure, so I haven't measured anything here. So take your bacon, cook it down. We're not gonna discard of the grease because that's where we're going to keep our flavor, okay? This dish is actually not for those who are on a diet. It's good, <laughs> but we're not taking any shortcuts. No, we're not cutting any corners here. We're getting right into it. All right, you just saw me add my peppers. All I added was my green and my red bell pepper i have not added my green onion yet because i don't want it to cook down too fast now i went ahead and decided to add my sausage as well sausage takes a little bit longer to cook just so it heats through it's pretty much cooked but i want it to heat through pretty well so like i said i went ahead and added the sausage as well now Let's just have a moment of silence right now for the beauty that we're looking at in this skillet. Oh yes sir, now let's move on over guys to the grits now. Now we're gonna multitask. I am actually gonna use chicken broth for my grits. It's gonna be a low sodium chicken broth, but that's what I'm going to use to boil my grits. I am actually going to use milk as well, so it's gonna be half chicken broth and half milk. Again, that is all the flavor that I am going to need in my grits. I will not need salt, I will not need pepper, but again, that's just me. If you'd like to use it, go right ahead. No judgment zone here. Doing a little multitasking here, trying to keep my meat and vegetables stirred while I'm pouring the chicken broth into my pot. Go ahead and turn your pot on. I think I had just recently turned that pot on and we're gonna bring that to a nice little simmer. Once that pot of chicken broth comes to a simmer, I will be adding my grits. You actually just saw me there turn down the sausage and bell peppers and bacon that I'm cooking. And we're just gonna let it heat through. If you could only smell what I am smelling here. All right, so I let that simmer covered for a while just so I could heat that sausage through. Be careful with, with this portion of it, guys, because the size that I cut my bell peppers to will um, cause it to get a little soft a little sooner than I had hoped. So it's gonna, I'm gonna lose a little bit of color, but you know what, it's okay. I've already turned it down. Now, we can go ahead and add the shrimp. Make sure that the last thing you add is actually your shrimp and then your onion. The reason for that is that your shrimp cooks so fast 
you don't want it to be in there too soon because you run the risk of the risk of overcooking your shrimp. I'm gonna take my slap your mama Cajun seasoning, and this is where I'm gonna start seasoning because my sausage was fine, my bacon was fine. They are both full of flavor. Didn't need seasoning then. I'm now going to take my Old Bay. And again, these are just the seasonings that I chose to use. Whatever seasoning works for you, go right ahead. Again, no judgment here. And I'm going to add pepper. So the three things that I used was my Slap Your Mama Cajun seasoning, my Old Bay seafood seasoning, and then just some, some black pepper. I was about to say just a little black pepper, but as you can see... I like my pepper. And we're just going to combine that all together. And we're actually about done with the shrimp, sausage, and bell pepper mixture. We just want to heat our shrimp through. So if we're going to actually cover it one more time, heat it through. As you can see at the bottom of the skillet, it has created its own wonderful sauce. That again is the flavor that we're going to use, which is once again why I will not be adding seasoning to my grits. Look at that. So we're leaving that covered for a while and we're gonna move over to our pot of grits. We've come up to a simmer now. So we're gonna go ahead and take our old fashioned grits, not that instant mess, and we're gonna go ahead and put it into our simmering pot of chicken broth. Now, let me just let you know right now, did I wash, did I rinse my grits? No, where I come from, we don't wash and rinse our grits. It's up to you if you like to do it. I'm not judging you, and I should hope you're not judging me. But this is the way that I'm going to fix mine. If you like to rinse your grits off, hey, go right ahead. But right here, right now, nobody's ever died. Nobody's ever passed out from grits that haven't been rinsed out that I know of. So now that we got the grits saga out of the way, let's go ahead and add some of those green onions to the mixture. This is about the right time to add them because you don't want them to pretty much cook down and deteriorate by adding them too soon. So this is perfect timing. Just gonna go ahead and add those guys now and give it a quick mix because that's the last of the flavor that we're adding. And we're gonna turn it down to a very low simmer. And then we're done with our meat mixture. I'll give you a close up here in just a bit. Just wanted you guys to see a little bit of the meat mixture which is going to go on top of our grits and this is your shrimp your green and your red bell pepper you have your bacon in here and i don't think i've added my green onion yet but you have your country sausage here it's all ready we're going to go ahead and turn this off and move it over to the side all right as you can see we've actually switched positions and i'm stirring my grits they are not ready, but as I stated earlier, I am going to add milk to my grits. Now, normally I like to have things at room temperature, but my milk was starting to freeze. So my refrigerator is very cold. But anyway, I've added just a little milk here. Up to you, you know, whatever consistency you want your grits at, that's what you do. I personally love to continue to stir my grits because I don't want the lumps and I want to make sure it's as creamy as possible and that's another reason I actually use milk in my grits because it makes it extra creamy and you'll see that here pretty soon. 
Here's the kicker. All right, those grits are getting pretty thick, so let's go ahead and add about three pats of butter to it. And I've actually chopped up some Gouda cheese, which is my favorite when I'm making grits because of the creamy texture of it. So there's my Gouda. And one more thing, I have to have my Parmesan. So I have my grated Parmesan from, is it Frigo or Frio? That is my Parmesan cheese. And I'm just gonna pile that on top of my Gouda. Bet you guys wasn't looking for that to happen with the shrimp and grits, huh? So I'm gonna go ahead and mix this and let it heat through. Let it come to a, once again, a really creamy consistency. That's the way I love to have my grits. With this cheese, both cheeses and the chicken broth, there is absolutely no need, in my opinion, to add seasoning to the grits. So continue to whisk and get it extra creamy. And I'm just showing you here how creamy and smooth the grits have gotten once the cheese has melted. This is what you want to see when you're making grits. This is so amazing. And guess what? We're done. All right, as I said, we are done. Everything is plated up. You see here that we have our hearty shrimp and grits with the shrimp. The country sausage, the green and red bell pepper. We have the bacon all laying up in a good butter bath, <laughs> so to speak. So do me a favor, like, share, and subscribe if you like this video or any of my others. And let's go ahead and get this page popping.